Okay, so I don't know what's going on. It is what it is. It says no stream validation in progress. I guess I have no idea what this is doing. It's got me so totally confused and crazy. All right, so we're gonna start from the beginning, unfortunately. What can I tell you? You can see this craziness going on. Hopefully I'll be able to um, split what I did before with this, probably not. Let's just start from the beginning, shall we? We're having a sale on DSP. In case you're interested. And if you would like to get a, what we call a make and take, and I'm calling it uh, make it yours items. So the make it yours items is actually your version, oops, a little too close here. Back up, back up, back up. There we go, right there. Make it yours items, which will only be the cardstock scored. Um, I can't give you stamped images and I can't give you the punches um, if they are part of the bundle. If you use the hostess code, which is right here, W-A-A-B-H-E-S-Y, a $35 order then and this is the website you go to by monday by midnight you will get a version of this for you um, and on top of that i had a winner from my sharing which was b and b you're going to get peaceful moments just need your address and i will send that off to you right away and I think that's everything I had, just in case it didn't work out with my streaming, okay? So here we go. So we're using quite curvy stamp set as well as the Peaceful Moments, thank you. And so quite curvy is not yet out. It'll be out in November. So I'm doing a couple of cards to show you this stamp set. It's really cute. It's got curvy stuff, a little birdies. It's really cute. This is being used. We're using uh, Garden Green and the DSP, which is... I'm doing all this in case I can't do the other thing. The DSP is the season six by six inch paper. And what else have I got here? I've got cinnamon, cider, um, portrait style, van very vanilla, and shaded spruce back here. Okay, I will try to remember to, and of course I didn't tell you that I wasn't feeling well, which is why I really didn't want to be on camera today, and why I'm trying to do it on YouTube. I needed some water. I just needed it. Okay. So here's the thing. Um, I was supposed to do a craft fair today. Didn't get a chance. I couldn't go. Just, just not worth the risk, you know? Wasn't feeling well. Craft fairs, you never know if you're going to get to a restroom. And that would have been um, crucial. Just saying this here and let's do this oh by the way I was going to say that this this is where I got interrupted on my last video uh, this comes with dies but I'm not using the dies today because I try to do simple stamping for you um, Look at how pretty that is. Let me show you. I hope that thing that says stream validation in progress, because I hope that's not there on my video. Isn't that pretty? Looks real good. All right, so we're gonna just wipe that down. And let's pick out, now this is the other, I don't think you can see it very well here. 
other stamp set I was going to use. I think I'm going to put this right here. Let's see. You have to kind of find the right spot for it. I think maybe I'll go like this off this way. And then maybe I can come over here. Let's see how that works, shall we? Yes, we shall. The thing is, if you don't get people talking to you, you end up answering yourself, which, you know, sometimes I argue with myself, but dang, I hate when that happens. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, here we go. Off on this side. Firmly and up. <gasps> I hate when that happens. Don't you hate that? I didn't I didn't press firmly all the way around. I don't think I would be able to fix it. Let's see. I don't think so. No, it's too blurry. Alright. We're gonna try again, shall we? Two sides. Okay. I'm gonna stick that right there. Now what I'm gonna start with this side. And do I have my foamy cushy thing? Yeah, here's my foamy cushy thing. Supposedly, they say that you should be using this. And frankly, Scarlet, I have not been doing that. I don't know if it works or not. So oh, we'll do an experiment. Let's see if it works. Okay, there we go. Put it well, you know. To, I hate getting the ink all over the place. Straight down and up. Let's go here like that and pick it up. Well guess what? It does look a lot nicer. And then I'm gonna go um, it goes like this. Okay, so let's see how this looks. Uh, this is my first time using this stamp set, so no judgments, please. Okay, just saying. I usually play with these things before you even come in the room. All right. Here's my sentiment. Your one in a million, which is going to go on the front of the card. Let's see how that looks. And I just want to find a spot for it to Let's see how this. You know what? I think I'll try this. This is a little birdie. So we're going to put that right there. Oh, that looks pretty. I'm liking this stamp set. So where's the freaking little bird? Bird, where are you? Where's the stamp set? Oh, here it is. It's hiding underneath the papers. All right. So there are, there's all these little birds. Okay. Which bird do I want? See, this one looks kind of cute. This one looks flatter, though. I think I need a smaller one in here. I like that. Or... Or should he be up here? I think he should be up here. Oh, duh. He's going to have to go like this. This little guy right there. And then there's some... I like these little extra stamps they give you. It sort of does that thing. All right. See how this works. I think you go like that, but I need a darker. I haven't gotten my new black ink pad, so it's coming in soon. Let's see how this will work. Oh, 
No, I've changed my mind. Changed my mind. Yes, I do this a lot. And I apologize. But creativeness. We're going to use the Memento Rich Cocoa. I do not know if they have that. I don't think they do. I think they only have black, but tuxedo black. But I'm going to use the cocoa. You could use um, uh, little, 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 cinnamon cider, um, crumb cake. I just... Oop, look at that. I thought I was holding on to it. Look at that. Awesome, right? Okay. Wiping down my little birdie. And we're going to take the little green leafy thing. And I think I want to do a couple little grief greenies. Should we have one? If I could, I'd put one in his mouth. Put one right there. Nice. I like it. All right. Let's move this out because I'm always dangerous with open ink. All right. And now we've got to... We've, not, we've got to cut it to fit in there. And here's the thing. I have a large enough space. You would think it would be all right, but I'm not, I'm not very tidy. All right, so here is, here's the card. Here's the thing I want to use. I'm going to color this in, but for the moment, I just want to, just want to check this out. I think I'm going to do it squared up. So basically, roughly two inches, I think, gives it enough. Let's color our little baby in. And I'm just going to grab... Got here we have Bermuda Bay, dark granny apple, light granny apple, and poppy parade. And I'm just making some choices here. I don't think I'm liking any of these right now. The granny apples are fine, but I need something. I think I have it. I think I have it by Joel. Here we go. I have dark crumb cake, light crumb cake, light mossy meadow, and light balmy blue. The really tiny, tiny little spaces here, okay? Seriously. So I'm just gonna, oh, looks like I need to ink my little Stuff is a little dry. Let's see if I can help it along here. What do we got going here? Let's see if this one is working. I need to add some inks to this. That's one of the nice things of having the ink. Here we go. The, uh, the spare ink can use it to get these guys to flow again. So if you don't use them, they end up drying up. So coloring is really, I like coloring. And this is a little 
You have to be delicate and talking while I'm trying to color is not the easiest thing here. So it might just spread a little bit. I'm just going to spread a little bit anyway. I'll show you in a second. Put Now I am avoiding my little birdie here for a second. not oh sorry I should bring you down further I am not um, I'm not coloring any of the areas where the bird is right away so there's I'm staying away from that greens those greens right now just giving it a good good hit Generally, with simple stamping, I don't usually bring in the dogs are going to go. I can just, you can just sense it. Hubby's outside doing his, his gardening thing. There, yep, there he goes. Yep, I knew it. So anyway, I'm staying away from the bird for the moment. So I'm going to take... To blue, we're gonna do a little blue birdie thing. I do not know if there is such a blue birdie stuff. So look what I'm doing. I am not going over the leaf, okay? I'm gonna take a little crumb cake, going outside of my little birdie. Who knows the way these little birds, I have no idea. I'm just doing my thing here. There we go. Now back to the green. I'm gonna take, and now I'm going to, like the leaves are in front of them. Does that make sense? So I just left it alone, colored in my, I'll bring it up a little bit closer. Colored in my bird, but stayed away from the leaf. Then when I went to hit the leaf, it, looks like the leaf is in front of him instead of behind him. Okay? Makes sense? I have no idea. And I think maybe, let's see. There's a little bit of red, but I don't want to do red. I think I will make my, what color should I do the flowers? I don't know. Let's try a little blue, see what they look like. Why not? Who cares? Right? Your flowers could be any color you want. I have the, the little bird thinking, what the heck is going on here? I thought these were my friends, but these are just flowers. We have hummers outside, hummingbirds. I'm sure everybody has hummingbirds somewhere. They have flowers, you have hummingbirds. Um, and these, they are, there's one he just, or she, I'm not sure. She is just, she sits on the top of um, the lights that are outside. See, doesn't look so bad, does it? All right, let's put this little baby together. So the, uh, she sort of guards all her stuff out there. All right, I'm gonna have to write all that up. That's why it's a mess, because I'm always keeping things out so I remember to put it in my blog or something. On a, come on. For some reason, the stamping seal, I have trouble with it. All right, there we go. We're supposed to set it down, lift it up. Set it down, lift it up. Set it down, lift it up. Oh, maybe I'm, maybe I finally got it. Who knew? I have no idea. There we go. All right. Let's do this. Ready? 
and down. And then look at this other side. Isn't that pretty? Do you know what? If you wanted to use this, you could very well color these in like um, a poinsettia, I would imagine. I guess that's what they're supposed to be. You use that color, but I'm going to use this color today. Let's try this stamp and seal again, see if I can do it. Slide across, come up, slide across, flick your wrist. So what I'm doing is going across and then I lift like this. Let's see if I can, like this. I'm sure that's not good for your carpal tunnel knot, but who knows? It does seem to work a little better. All right, and we're going to go like this here. Boom and boom. Now I have Snowflake Splendor Ribbon, which I just think is really cute. And we're going to take a little snippet. So that's going to go here. And I'm going to make a little knot. I don't know if I could do a bow. I will try a bow for you. One loop, and then I'm going to do another loop over here, and then we do around. This ribbon is pretty stiff. It's not floppy, and it grasps really easy. Oh, I did. I got a ribbon. Look at that. Woohoo! We need applause, please. And I like my ribbon, my bows to be little, little. You can say it that way. And I take my scissors, put it inside the bow like that, and I open it up. And it makes the, the bow bow sort of open up a little bit, you see? Yeah. And I take my goes straight up parallel and it really, it does it at the angle, the correct angle. Oh, wow, that looks good. Let's see, I need some dotties, glue dots, peeps, glue dots, one in the center, one on this side, and one on the other side. Wait, where's it? Where's there? There. Come on. There we go. Then we're going to put it down right there. Got ahead of myself. I didn't even put this down yet. All right. So I think you can do this in very many different ways. I'm going to put it... It's not going to matter too much, is it? Oh, yeah. See, I wanted to show you. See, the ink comes through a little bit. That's why I didn't put it down, because I didn't want it to come through. Oh, I did it again. I wasn't paying attention. Yep. See, that's what happens if you're not paying attention. A cross flick. Cross flick. There we go. I think I'll put it up here for today. <gasps> oh, my sweaty hand. Oh, wow. You can see what I did. Oh, well, maybe it'll just teach you. This is light enough. We don't need an insert in here. But I think a thank you is deserved. And I'm going to put this in its correct way. Correct. Uh, trying to find my, my smaller version of the uh, acrylic block, but I couldn't find it, so we'll just use it that way. So I put this, <clears throat> excuse me, please. I put this right back where it belongs again. Put some ink on it. We're going to put right down in the middle. 
here's the thing. If you don't like the way it comes out, you can always put something on top of it, right? Put this over here. And where's my, oh, here they are. I think I'm going to take my little, seriously, I cannot find my smaller ink block. It is really just frustrating me. I need to clean. I really do need to clean. Oh, duh. It was off and to the side. So I'm going to take my brown. And I'm going to put it right. I'm going to put my little birdie right here. Okay. And he's going to take his little sprig. I haven't put a sprig in his mouth. Look at. You can color that part in too. I'm not going to. But isn't that cute? I love him with this sprig in his mouth. <laughs> Let's look at this one again. So if you do the $35 order by Monday midnight, what you would get is all of these components. You can't get the ink, the markers, or the stamps. But you would get all of this, and all you would have to do is do it yourself. Ta-da! Use what you have. And if you don't have anything, you can always order it. Because you have to order something anyway, so why not? All right. Ta-da. Let's try a different version, shall we? Let's do a second one. I'm really liking this stamp set. I have some uh, spruce, shaded spruce, all ready to go here. And I thought I would do that. This is done in the um, eight and a half by 11, cut at five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And that way you can use it, portrait or landscape, okay? I'm going to do it landscape. You could do it any way you want. Let's take out, now this has the paper, again, from the uh, DSP, the 6x6 DSP, and I am going to... I think I'm just going to leave it like that. Hmm. Yeah, I think so. I like that. See, that's the other side of it. Let's try this. Okay. The scoring is, um, oh, excuse me, please, I'm sorry, not the scoring. The uh, first level is a five by three and three quarter, which is a nice equal distance frame around it. And then I am thinking, would be nice, oh boy. Let's see, where's where's the stamps again? This is nice here. Put this away. And let's do, let's give it a new version. This one is made with love just for you. And that would sit right there. That's a good one. Let me show you what I have here. Um, thinking of you makes my day. Wishing you the happiness of happiest of birthdays. Hooray for you. Made just for you. And hello. You know, I like just hellos too. But... I think I'll do this one. 
And again, I'm seeking my, my silly little stamp set. My stamp set, my acrylic block. Boy, there it is. Just wish I would be able to keep my focus. Today, in this one, I'm using um, Whisper White. And I'm going to do that. Put this up on here. This was working out pretty well. Still using Gordon Green because I like the green on the green, green on the green, and I'm just putting it right like that. Not, oh, went too far over the edge. Well, we can't have that, can we? Have to try that one again. Bring it over just a smidgey. That. And I have, I have that little green sprig. I just want to put the little green sprig over here and here. Little green sprig is so cute. I just, I can just go off like that. If you really need to know the size, let me show you. It is maybe three inches. Yep, three inches by an inch. And I think I'm gonna make it a banner. Ouch! The scissors are very sharp. And a little up the middle and from one corner to the middle and the other quarter to the middle. There we go, nice little banner. We have this. Now, um, just in case you were wondering, this other side works very nicely right like that. No waste, how's that for a great little addition here. Just gonna put some multi-purpose glue right there from edge to edge. Right down here. I love that. It looks so, I mean, it looks really thought out when you do that. right over it and I learned from my last lesson not to put hands on it how simple and how cute I like it so on the inside I need to put this in now you want to match the inside with the outside right so it is a um, three and a half by five inch piece of Whisper White cardstock. And of course we are gonna have to stamp something on it. And since I don't know what I wanna stamp on the inside, the bird was really cute. Maybe we'll do the bird. And you can do your own little decoration with whatever you have. I'm gonna put the Sprigs, I'm gonna do a couple of sprigs like so. I will bring that up to show you. So I, I sort of I double stamped. So I did two solid stamps and then one second generation stamp 
makes it look cute. And this one, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to try to do the bird in green right here. Let's see how it comes out. That's not too bad. It matches nicely, I think. Okay, I'm going to turn that over. Take a little. Now, this is not the Stamp and Seal Plus. Let me tell you about the Stamp and Seal Plus. You know what? If you are making stuff really, you know, you really need to have a strong bond, that's what you use the Stamp and Seal Plus for. You know, you might see me using the Stamp and Seal Plus for making cards because it's just, just what I do sometimes. But seriously, you don't need to use it um, unless you're doing three-dimensional projects because it's really, really strong. All right, here's number two. Isn't that cute? I'm really liking this stamp set. Okay, this doesn't have a bow. What should we, we should put something on it, something special. Ooh, look at that. Blue adhesive back gems. Well, we don't want to use blue, do we? But I do have adhesive back snowflakes. Which I also am going. This is number two in terms of giveaways. So if um, you share and you comment that you've shared, you will be put in a drawing to win a package of these. Believe it or not, I do have stickies. Here it is. This is my little sticky sticky. Let's see, can we? Nope, I need to use this one. Nope, not this one. Duh. It's down here. Here we go. I'm gonna take this and move it here. And here. There we go. Nice. Nice little bling. Here we go. Looks good. I like it. All right. Two. And I think that's a half an hour. I think we've got enough for today. Yep. I think so. Look at the mess. Got to go clean. Like I said, wasn't feeling too good, so I am apologizing. Oh, we need to move a little bit more slowly as of late. I will be back again on Monday night. Monday night? Yep. Uh, oh, God willing. And if the creek don't rise, as they say. Boy, we could use a creek rising out here because we need some uh, some rain let me tell you my poor little my poor little plants yeah so there we go i'm going to take my images by stamping up and stamp the backs of these and then that'll be it for today if anything is questionable and you really need some info please just send me a message i'll be glad to help but uh not wanting to confuse anybody. There we go. And right there. Nice. And again, there it is. Well, hopefully this works out well. And I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.